Welcome back. Thanks for liking and subscribing. So, Mark Golden decides say a power of a passport, you know. <laughs> a power of a passport. Now, <laughs> listen to that speech. So, my situation is one where I have always regarded my status as being normal and not something that I would be concerned about. However, when the issue came out in the public domain, I did say that while my own view of the matter of dual citizenship is that we should be expanding rather than narrowing. So that's how when the issue came out in the public domain. So he was never acting on his own conscience or interpretation or deliberate misinterpretation of the law. Mark is a lawyer. Mark know what the law say. But make we continue. The scope of who can participate in our political process even at the highest level, given the diaspora, that we have as a reality the Jamaican family being international and we be so dependent on our Jamaican family. The entire Jamaica does not depend on the diaspora to take care of them. So, that's a one fallacy in your argument right there. So, what we don't subscribe to. And when Jamaica people send money, unless you can show with something to say the diaspora contribution to Jamaica, excluding all of them family members and them obligations, let us not give them too much credit. People are take care of them family, in a mean to say, you can turn a foreign in a parliament without surrender, surrendering your dual citizenship. The law is the law. For the sustenance and support of our economy and our society here, and we discussed some of those issues a while ago in the discussion on economic transformation. I also said that I have to be mindful of where the Jamaican people felt about this and if it became a part You have to be mindful that you don't get anybody else other than what you currently have in the PMP which is not enough to vote for you if you don't do the right thing. The Jamaican people spoke. I find it very interesting that you talk about data too, you know, because you used to send out the whole but Dan Anderson poll them where I put you up in our ratings, but when the Blue Dot poll came out and showed us what people are thinking outside of your little corner where you're in, a, I am sure this is why you are making this decision, plus the pressure from the people them in your party. That the view was that leaders in the parliament, or members of parliament, right. senators, or persons of you don't take that into account. That is what the law says. Comrades, we have reached a point now where we have some data on the views of the public on this matter. And uh, why? So he now made this a decision here because he went home and he prayed about it, you know. He's looking at the data because Mark really had to do this, you know, because him smell the possibility to get in power. But we don't forget what the PMP them do, you know. Remember, say we are talking about Finsaka and everything right here now, you know. But make we hear what you have to say. Express my, my own view is on the way we ought to be going as a country in relation to this issue. I do not want my status to be something which could hold any hold the party back, impact the party negatively, or any of our candidates who are on the road to victory in difficult seats which we're looking to win, to have any kind of to win. because of our <laughs> So as a result of that, I have decided to take that issue off the table by renouncing my <laughs> Yeah, man! That's the right thing to do, renounce that UK citizenship if you want to continue but a couple of things you know first of all we don't care what your opinion is as it relates to the constitution have respect for the foundational laws of the land that's what we are saying Mark Golden the next thing you said the Jamaica people felt now this is just to show you say so you don't really identify with we you know outside of wanting our votes to get into power you know because which real Jamaican people, you know, use the language the Jamaican people felt. No, we say, we Jamaicans, are we say, 
as a yard man, as a yardie, as a Jamaican myself. We, we notice them little thing there, you know. Them the kind of language there, them come out of your subconscious mind. It come out of where you really think and where you feel. So people who don't have to pay attention when, when Mark Golden talk. Now this big rose in applause at the end, you know. What it really tell we, you know, is that contrary to the whole heap of people, them who, who depend on social media, I come tell you about enough to renounce. This show you where PMP concerned about. They wanted him to renounce all along. I'm sure say a pressure them put upon him. And finally, man, Mark was not elected to the parliament the right way because he did not meet the requirement. Likewise, Julian Robinson, we see Julian Robinson, a follow back I am right now as it relates to renouncing this dual citizenship. And whoever else in the parliament, them have to do it. The next thing we want to know, can we now put back on the table the constitutional reform so that Jamaica can go on to becoming a republic? So you see, we're going to take with a grain of salt when Mark say, when him say he ain't going to renounce, you know. But we're going to have to see him follow through with this because, remember, you know, we just came up the other day and we see where Mark has proven locations in three British territories occupied by British nationals in a Bermuda, in a Cayman, and in a British Virgin Island. So, I him really decide say I want to do this yeah? Or is it that a pressure them a pressure? You know, and jeopardize other people's position. So, is Mark doing this out of love for Jamaica? I don't think so. I think Mark is doing it because he wants the power. He really feel entitled to the power. So, you know, this whole time come situation is this. Mark being ruling class, him not really want to stay in Jamaica being led by anybody that came from the poorer class or the working class, such as Andrew Holness and Nigel. So, he is now doing what he thinks he must to get to the place of power. But we don't forget Finsack and his hand in it, you know, because we have a lot more things. So, the, 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 the dual citizenship is a small issue in comparison to other issues that we're looking at. Because you had a hand you know, in orchestrating the destruction of the Jamaican economy, destroying up to 44% of GDP in the 90s. You know. We don't forget that. We're going to start now looking at competencies. We're going to start looking at what you really bring to the table. You know, hear about your solutions or your policies. You, you're not doing Jamaica any favor by renouncing your dual citizenship, you're doing yourself a favor because you want to win. So you still have a whole gap as to what you're going to bring to the table. Because right now, Andrew and Nigel is performing such as none of us never do before. And we are not going to forget that just because you renounce. But Uno stay tuned to the steady show, people. Go into the comments and let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe. Steady.